People keep saying that I'm way ugly compared to my boyfriend and that he's dating way lower than his lead. He's not dating for looks. I am 5'8". My athleticism is 10 times his. My hand-eye coordination? Insane. You put me on a court, a field, an ice rink, and I will dominate. I was a D1 hockey player. He's not dating for looks. He's dating for genetics. Some of you, just so stupid. You don't think into the future. Is this really a thing? Do men actually date women they are not attracted to so their children can have good genetics? If his children turn out to be physically impaired in some way, he pretty much had babies with a 3 out of 10 for absolutely no reason. He is an idiot! Nobody talks about this, but it is very difficult, very difficult to be attracted to the person that is good for you. And this is like, if you're gonna come for me, like, fuck off. Like, how about that? Let's get that out of the way. This is very true. Think about a person that is super good for you, but like good on paper, right? Like they're good. Like you know that this is a good choice for you, but something, something isn't there. Something is missing and you don't know what it is. And you feel bad because you're like, oh my God, I should like this person. Like I should give this person a chance. Like they could be so good for me, but what's missing? It's that you're looking, most likely, you're looking for that chaotic adrenaline rush that you get when you like the person that is not good for you, okay? Girls and guys both experience this. It's very difficult pre-healing, I think, to be attracted to the person that is good for you. It takes a lot of unlearning, a lot of relearning, a lot of looking at your patterns and your behaviors and what you are drawn to in the person that is not good for you. I used to be like, oh my God, it's so passionate, it's so fiery. He's literally love bombing me. He's literally love bombing me and going to set me up to ruin my life in the next four months. Like, like let's reflect inwards, like let's reflect inwards. I'm not taking all of the blame here, but you know, sometimes, sometimes we are the problem. And I think that this is, I just had a conversation with a girlfriend who's going through this right now. Sometimes we are the problem and that is okay. Like it is totally okay, but sometimes we are the problem. Only women who have been ran through and belong to the streets don't like good men and would rather be treated badly instead of good just so they can have fun. These women don't deserve you guys. Stop chasing after them. Stop being a simp towards them. They don't deserve your time or good value unless they reciprocate it. Damn right. Okay, I have a really important debate slash question. I am fascinated by the fact that men think they're doing us a favor by inviting us out to dinner. Now, I appreciate the sentiment, but going out to dinner is the most effort, tedious activity I could think of. Like, I can't think of anything that would require more of my energy. You know, it just takes so much energy because what you're doing, the girl's role in that dinner is to entertain and to look pretty. So basically, you are at work and sometimes it's nice if you want to impress each other then he has this dinner plan so he impresses you with his choice of a dinner space and he puts you in this space and then you impress him because you would dress up and then you look pretty and you give him conversation it's exhausting it's not a favor it's certainly not something that i would want to pay for i have no interest in going to dinner i'll actually maybe pay you not to go to dinner. I don't want to do that. If we do a lot of girlfriends, they love going out to dinner. They love being invited out to dinner. For me, like I got a message this morning, every time a friend, a guy friend or an ex-boyfriend or someone that it's just, it never feels like I can completely relax. It always feels like they want me there because they know I'm going to look good and they know I'm going to dress up and they know I'm going to entertain them. 
I always feel like I'm put in that position because I'm an entertainer. I don't know. I tend to feel like the dinner situation, you sit down for hours. I hate sitting down for hours. I don't like sitting down even for five minutes. How is it the woman's role to entertain at dinner? The man is the one who usually has to hold the conversation and pay for the meal. But if she is willing to pay men to not go to dinner, I would happily accept that free money. Thanks for the free money, bitch. I went through his following on Instagram. You guys know on here that I have an anxious att attachment style um, and I've been working on it, but I went on a date with this guy like a month or so ago. We've been on like three dates in total. Um, the third date, he slept over, we were intimate, blah, blah, blah. And I was, I, I'm sitting here like, should I delete Hinge? Like, I really like this guy and blah, blah, blah. Bitch, I'm so delusional. I'm so delusional. I went on to his Instagram today and I saw that his following went up by like nine people. I'm crazy. I'm sorry. Let it go. Um, <laughs> I'm not secure yet in the relationship what relationship there's no real <laughs> anyways i went to his instagram and his following went up by like eight people and i was like oh my god so a little me being curious went through his most recent followers and they're all girls they're all girls who live around my area who are really hot we're not official or anything i i don't know that much about this guy so he's not doing anything wrong but with my anxious attachment style and my delu i was like okay like we've been on three dates we had sex like maybe this is going no clearly not and this is recent too like it wasn't like oh before we had our third date he followed all no this was like yesterday I didn't think it was that Delulu to want to date someone like for a few times and then I don't know pick them I'm just trying to find one person who I just genuinely like and he hasn't done anything wrong it's just my anxious attachment style is just like ready to delete hinge but anyways um I'm back on hinge I am dating once again because Clearly, he's still dating and seeing other people, and I'm getting too attached. Reminder that we can be as Delulu as we want. That doesn't mean the rest of the world's gonna support our Delulu. This woman is clearly a stalker, and if the guy is not careful, he is going to get his car vandalized. She doesn't even know for sure if he's dating anybody else. All of her delusional thoughts are taking control over her actions. Poor, deluded females. The Goal Driven Male book is out now. Search for it on Amazon or check the link in the description. Mm -hmm.